Hello, this is Robbie Remote. Robbie is a remote clinical data monitor. He's part of a team that plays a major role in ensuring that the clinical trials are running as they should by maintaining a high level of data quality and ensuring safety of the participants involved. He often works hand in hand with the project team, particularly with his colleagues from the clinical monitoring team. The clinical monitors are often the eyes and ears in every clinical trial. They maintain a good relationship with everyone involved in the trial, keeping a constant communication with the site, investigators and study nurses, the project team, sponsors, and also the contract research organizations. They report and monitor any deviations, train the site, and ensure that the medicinal product and the pharmacies and laboratories are also accounted for. Hence, the duties are never completely finished. Traditionally, clinical monitors were required to travel to the clinical study centers, also known as study sites, to review a lot of paperwork and to confirm that the study data collected was in fact accurate, correct, and follows the protocol. This often involved digging through stacks of folders and binders, looking for a needle in the haystack, leaving them drained, and in most cases, there's never enough time to find these needles. They often spend hours traveling to the study sites to conduct a source data verification, which required them to confirm the data collected at the source matched the data recorded in the case report forms. Travels to the sites were often faced with challenges such as bad weather conditions, border controls or political issues, or even pandemics like that experienced during the COVID-19 pandemic, and with no travel means they were unable to verify the data. On top of that, they often felt that after a long day spent in trains or buses, their concentration levels were affected due to fatigue reducing their ability to understand the data in the way that they should. Once on site, they spent 90% of their time conducting source data verification. The remaining 10% of time they had was to cover the rest of their responsibilities, which was just impossible to accomplish in such little time. Any mismatch found during this process would then need to be corrected by the site. What really frustrated them about this process was that in the end, less than 3% of corrected data affected critical data. These are data that are extremely important to validate the overall objective of the clinical trial and protects the patient's safety. It just seemed that their efforts conducting source data verification had in fact very little impact on the data quality. What they also didn't understand was, even after the FDA and EMA had given a go-ahead on exploring more effective monitoring methods, the industry still focused on near or 100% source data verification. This not only consumed excessive energy, but also study costs. Clinical monitoring costs approximately 30% of the entire clinical trial cost, meaning hundreds of thousands or even millions of US dollars are easily spent on clinical monitoring. This is why we as a CRO implemented Robby Remote. Robby remotely oversees clinical data collected from several data sources such as EDC, ePros, using different electronic tools in-house to review study sites across the globe. Without traveling, Robby is able to review the entire study while examining data across all the sites and even catch on suspicious trends or patterns with the data. He compares and contrasts this data and identifies countries or sites or even patients that have more systematic errors in the blink of an eye, something that was not possible with on-site monitoring. All discrepancies and errors that Robert discovers during his remote monitoring, he communicates these directly with the site, initiating the response which sometimes happen in real time. This means he's able to prevent simple data errors that affect critical data before it's too late. He has since then eliminated the issues of late or incomplete data entry, systematic issues, suspicious data, protocol deviations, and so much more, which has been a huge relief for the monitoring team as they can now prioritize, decide when to arrange a visit, increase or decrease the frequency of their on-site visits as of when required. This has reduced the traveling costs, hence the clinical study costs. Since Robbie Remote continuously cleans the data throughout the study, for Robbie and his colleagues, this means they're now able to close the studies a lot faster than before, 
creating more capacity to take on new studies and make new therapies a lot faster but thorough and at lower cost. What a win for the whole study team! So when will you implement remote clinical data monitoring in your monitoring process?